Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to some Android Netrunner. My dear denizens of the grid, it is time. So I've, uh, I've played this on channel a little bit before, and I've definitely had, like, informal introduction talking times, and we've done some uh, uh, coding on channel, and, uh, well, this is it. This is the Peddler Draft. It's gotten more sophisticated every day, and it's now at a point that I feel pretty good about it. Um, and uh, I'm actually itching to actually play it rather than just develop, which is a really good sign for how far it's come. Um, I'm sure that there are still glitches I haven't worked out, and uh, there's definitely kinks, which aren't glitches per se, but things that aren't working as well as I'd like, things that are working really well. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess let me put this out there, but uh, is anyone up for peddling? If anybody is up for a game, let me know, and I am happy to uh, uh, do that. Uh, streaming pedal draft. And put that on casual, put that on any side, kind of just leave that up there for now. Um, that being said, while I am not in a game, uh, and do have some time for dev, there's, I'm like deeply within three or four different angles of things that I want to work on on this. Uh, one big issue I've noticed is the load time is pretty awful on the order of a minute almost. And I think I figured out why that is. I think that when I pull powers, I'm making a four loops worth of requests to the server and back. And I think there's probably a way to compress this down so you make one request from the server instead of a hundred. So that I'm gonna to need to fix. Um for sure. Also I feel like the clustering on uh, uh cards is a little too tight uh random wise so I'm gonna loosen that up ever so slightly. Make a broader standard deviation. Let me find my function for that. Port list, refresh deck view, push drag to game. My god, now that I've gotten used to Visual Studio Code, it is so hard to go back. Oh, no way. Oh, hang on a second. Baramu, if you were up for it, that would be fantastic. I would totally be down. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, yeah I, would, I would totally be down for that if you're up for it. Down for that if you're up for it. <laughs> Um, there's a few ideas I've been experimenting with, sorry, thinking about, but not experimenting with. And one is, you know, if you have a, a high power card next to a low power card, so say account siphon versus uh, Armitage code busted, right? Or, or a liberated accounts next to a Cyberdelia. It's not very hard to choose the right option right away. Sometimes you'll be in a position where it's a tricky choice because of what you specifically got at that time, specifically in something else. But by and large, that's a no-brainer choice. Uh, and one way I'm thinking might be worth pursuing is specifically offering cards that the game thinks are similarly rated in power, so that you're often offered good cards in clusters and bad cards in clusters, and then you need to do that. Oh, that that's awesome, my dude. Yeah, if you're a if you need about 10 minutes, that's about as long as I, I would need to wait anyway. So that's perfect. I'll plan to see you and let's uh <laughs> let's get the let's get our game on. Um I'm uh, I'm also in Discord on this. I can be in Discord on the side if you want to voice chat a little while we uh, are playing or whatever. But uh let me cool. Well that gives me just 10 minutes. That's actually perfect. That's enough time to make some simple changes. First, there's this bad boy. So this is the function that I'm using right now to scatter but tilt uh, card offerings towards certain power levels so that when you slide the power slider to ask how good or bad you want your draft to be, it centers the curve around those power levels as opposed to just giving you pure randomness. The broader the standard deviation, the uh, more cards that are included, the less focused you become on specifically one power point. If the standard deviation is one, then you're only ever going to get exactly the index you asked for plus minus a little. But if the standard deviation is the entire length of the array minus the k point that you've done, that's actually a terrible formula. It should probably be array length over two, I would think. 
right? Because what if what if you've said ninety percent? Then array length minus ninety percent is going to be near zero. Near zero divided by three is still zero. And on a graph, this function might need to be reassessed because I already have protection for going below and above zero. So I could afford to lean into the standard deviation curve even further. I'm not sure about this, and I don't feel like breaking this right before playing. So let me let me not do that. Yeah, let me not do that. Um, to broaden this curve would mean I need to make this number bigger, which means I would need to make the denominator smaller so that more data is included. So we'll drop that to 2.5 for now, and that should be fine. That should be fine. OK. And what is standard deviation being used for? complex arithmetic calculations. OK, very good. OK, so that's one. Uh, second, I hope I updated this. Yeah, OK, good. I've made updates to the way the lists are displayed to make them more readable, so that's good. Uh, the second thought would have been, like I said, offering similarly powered cards. And I think I can accomplish that by sorting the draft deck by uh, uh, power level so that when it offers you a card, instead of offering you three random cards from the draft deck, it offers nearby. But by far the most important thing I need to do is cap the number of duplicates. Right now it's completely uncapped. I think if I force that you cannot have more than three duplicates offered in the whole run of any given card or one of any given ID, it would dramatically improve the quality of uh, uh, the cards being offered in, in a general sense. That doesn't necessarily mean it'd be more fun you know, you're not going to get the wacky decks as often, but I might sacrifice that for a little bit more consistent quality. Mm. So those are kind of the uh, thought processes I've had for improvements. But hey, uh, we're about to go live and actually pedal. Let me explain pedal drafting for those of you who are uninitiated. A peddler draft is a mode in which you are offered, much like the street peddler does, three cards at random. Well, pseudo-random. <laughs> And you then get to choose which of those three cards you wish to add to your stack of cards that you're drafting from. My rules, again, you can do this however you like or by whatever rules make sense to you. My rules that I like to play by are that all IDs are infinite influence uh, and 40 card minimum or 30 card minimum, depending on if you're playing for a six point or seven point game. We're probably going to go for the 40 cards that you draft about. 10, 20, 30% more cards that you attempt to use so that you actually have to deck build a little bit, that the corp gets a bonus five rounds of peddling or so because the corp is probably going to need to build a bigger deck than the runner. I mean, you know, depending on how you like to build your corporation. Uh, what else? Influence doesn't matter. You can use agendas from out of faction. If you draft an ID, you can use it. You can't use multiple IDs, obviously, not unless there's some trick to it. Uh, but yeah, you pedal draft your way through, build out your deck, export the list, and pull it up in Jinteki, make a casual deck out of it, and play against an opponent who did the same. Uh, this I like to view as either a handicap or a preference bar, and I'm still on the fence about how exactly this needs to be implemented. Like I'm learning as I go with what I like doing with this. But uh, in theory, in theory, you could say, I'm the better player. I'm going to go all the way down to a 20% power, 10% power draft. And you can see it snaps to big numbers. And your opponent could say, I'm going to stay in middle. Or I'm, we would both want to play with the best cards the game has to offer. So let's go eternal list with no power factor, with a maximum power factor or what have you. And unfortunately, right now, power factor is based on very limited data. So I don't even know how accurate it is right now. But uh, the features are coded in there. They're just not fully functional, I guess, is how I would like to think of it. Uh, yeah, so when the time comes to actually pedal draft, let's say that we're going through and doing a 40 card deck, so we would draft 20% more than 40 is two out of 10 times 40 is eight extra cards. So let's say 50 cards to make a 40 card deck, right? And that would be for the runner, the corp would do 55. Uh, we can use the standard card pool or you know what? Let's go haywire. Let's make an eternal card pool, and, and and let's let's do corp because corp is the more challenging one to get right. Yeah. So if we were to just build it out, we would hit start, and this unfortunately is something like I was mentioning. I'd like to work on is the load time, but just give it patience. Load time will work. There you go. 
Ugh, this ID needs to be cut. Can't believe it, that's not exactly kosher that it's showing up here. Where's the IDs to ban? There should be some hard coded IDs that don't show up, and this is one of them. Cyber Police, is it? Cyber Bureau. Cyber. Man, the hell do you spell Bureau? Bu Okay, yeah. That one's banned as of now. Sorry about that. Oh my god! Blue Sun! I remember Blue Sun. God, I love Blue Sun. Uh, will it be any good in draft mode? I mean, maybe no, because you're not necessarily going to get the, you know, 14 credit ice with 1 credit cost to res tricks that you get back when you construct. But on the other hand, being able to derez and flip to hand and then replace it on the board and get paid off endless powered assets, oh my god, it's so tempting. It means I can play big ice and not go broke just from resing one of them, maybe? I mean, HB is the obvious correct decision here, but oh my god, these are both so good. How do you choose between me? <laughs> This, by the way, is one of the quirks that I've programmed in. It always offers you an ID first. So you can kind of begin by thinking about what it is you want to uh, uh, do in terms of gameplay. Do you want to jump in? What kind of ID do you want to build around? That being said, it may offer you more IDs as the game goes on, uh, you know, depending on what your random pool is. I think I think we go Blue Sun. I think we have to go Blue Sun. I mean, I just don't get to play it much. Okay. This is not a. This does not play nicely with Blue Sun. Because you want. To, well, I guess you can always use the counters. Oh, only during a run. Ugh, that's more limiting. Your opponent can play around it. And then your six credits are locked on the board, and you also have to pay a side game, so it's seven credits to meaningfully use. It's not great. This is an accessory ice, which is bad because it's positional, but it's good because Blue Sun can reposition inherently. And then there's Comfort Food Palana phones. Uh, huh. I think I take the I think I take the Inazuma here. I'm fairly sure I'll get another ice that I'm happy to use with it. It's good to have something to do with market forces. Trash or resed ice, reveal cards and to reveal ice, install and res. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, with my intended big ice, small ice mix, and the ability to de res and. Mm, nah, I'm gonna end up with big ice stuck on the board, so probably. I'll come back to that if I could, but. This is just a really good version of tag punishment. You score brain rewiring, you may pay money. If you do, they bottom. I may mean, I mean, force them to add X cards to the bottom as a first stack at random, and then draw one card. That makes it sound like they are going to get to draw the card. Do they draw the card or do we draw the card? Huh. I'm not sure. I might actually look that up. Brain rewiring. Uh, DB brain rewiring. Thank you. What exactly is this doing here? Cars are to be tagged. Get tagged. Has to. Okay, so it's not specified. It, it, it's at random, then draw one card is really throwing me off. Is the runner th drawing one card, or am I drawing one card? Tomato, tomato. Regardless of which one it is, I don't. I feel like it's a bad one-pointer, and it's definitely not going to slot in just by itself. It needs a strategy that it built around it. Zed's interesting. It's bad in most decks, but... 
If the rock's got at least one click to break, Sergeant Timbers run do two core damage. So they can double click to get through, not lose their console, and spend and take core damage. Or they can break the core damage but lose their console. So it's a console killer for six credits, and it only works if they don't have the ability to get past you or don't have a killer specifically. Or It's a very narrow. I don't like it. I'm not taking Z2.0. So I guess that means I'm taking a second market forces, so now I really need a way to do it to give tags. Okay, we've got stopping power here at least. And here we have taxation. They can either pay to get through it or go through it for free. Yeah, I think we take a hard ETR. But this is again an ice that does not play nicely with my identity because I can't bounce it to hand. So maybe I prefer this. Uh, okay, that's a snap choice, and that's a snap choice. So these are both really good. Um, when I res this, I get three credits. And then I bounce it back to my hand to make that four credits and reinstall it and res it for seven credits and trash it. Wait, 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 does that play work? If I can place this on the board, yes, please be my guest doing eternal with band without band cards and with power level in the middle like it was by default. Uh, are you on Discord? Care to join me in Paulie's Cafe? GLC. I wonder if this is gonna break my stream actually now that I think about it. Is my mic allowed to be used in two places? Let me double check, make sure I haven't broken anything. Pardon everybody. Yellow? All right, that is two. Hey, how's it going? Well, pleasant evening to you, uh, neighbor, neighbor. Let me uh, quickly make sure that my stream hasn't lost audio because I jumped in here. It doesn't look like it has, so that's good. Okie dokie. But yeah, uh, dude, I have been so excited about building this tool and now getting to actually play it is fun. I, I, this is fantastic for me. The second. Um, uh, we did a grid drop. Mm -hmm. We did. I, I put together like an all MSG cards queue to use on the grid drop. Oh, so very it's, nice. It, it's a work in progress, so it needs a little bit of tweaking. We've got we did, like we talked a lot, uh, but we had a we had great fun. We did notice a couple of there was there was two glitches. Ooh. One do, do share. Oh, actually, um, uh, can I actually can I ask you to uh, jump with me on uh, on uh, stream because I just realized I'm not recording any of your Discord audio and so your conversation is gonna be very one sided. If that's cool with you, here I'll shoot you I'll shoot you a message with the link real quick. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you could just jump on in, I appreciate it. All right. Sorry about that. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll see you in a second. I can't wait to hear about it. All right, get that sorted, and let me jump out here. Oh my god, what a day, what a day. <sighs> okay, let's see where we're at. Man, this is a tough choice. 3 2 agendas are really good. The ability to res ice for free in a deck that wants to run big ice is really good. 
but uh, I can't leave that kind of money on the table. We cannot use this ability during a run. I mean, the, I see that you've joined, but it looks like it's camera only because I have to push this button, and now... Now, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, I can. Very much so. Cool. Um, now, yeah. back to so, screen sharing and turn that back on, and we should be good. good. Okay, we're yeah. good. Excellent. I've got you. Welcome back. Awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so I might I might send you details of the glitch later. It was just to do with like because that's that's better for me to just type up because it's just something that you can you can look into. Is it something very uh, narrow or was it pretty game breaking? <laughs> uh, it was something that we found a workaround to. Basically, when you when you click on like next grid, yeah, it didn't go next grid for both player. Like it would it would change the grid for both players. But where it had the numbers, so it would say the next player to go is either player one or player two, and it would have the grid number, and it would only increase one of those numbers for one of the people. Ah, the display of which grid we're on didn't refresh. Yeah, Very so, so we got like... calling it on one end and not on the other. That, yeah. Thank you. That's good to know. So basically, when we, when we finished drafting our runners, I like import my deck and I realized that we'd drafted 80 cards, like 80 cards because we'd, it had said like grid 16, but we'd actually drafted 32 grids. Um, <laughs> it only advanced for one of you each time. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and it, it should have, it should have been obvious to, to me because it was also, so basically instead of it being one person, then the other person, then the other person, it was like doing like one person got two goes at going first and then the other person got two goes at going first. It's and it was like, odd. well, that's fine. We can just live with that, whatever. Um, but yeah, so there's, and I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think I can really pinpoint where the like issue is there. Um, cool. But that was fun. Look into it. Honestly, then, goodness, at some point, I probably should rebuild the fire implementation ground up because it was designed entirely as a single player tool, right? And then I kind of, Frankenstein grafted the uh, uh, ability to multiplayer link on top of it. I mean, and it, I'm very glad it's there, but I, but it's it's going to be error prone because of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the rest of it. Once we, once we, so when we did, um, we found a, a workaround which was that you just had to like someone had to click next grid twice, and you kind of skipped a grid, but it that would then be uh, like in place. So for we we found that workaround and we managed to properly draft like corp decks because of that. Um, Got it. Um, when with I, that worked for a smooth. De depending on how time goes, um, maybe we jump into a fire uh, session after this and you show me how it works. Sure. Because um, then I can I can hot fix it or not as the case may be. Why yeah. Do credits. And then, there's so many of these that I've literally never even seen before. <laughs> Um, and then the one thing which I was like, mm, Jackson, I you? really wish we had access to was being able to, because the cube which I made had identities in it, but obviously you can't include the identities because it pulls an NRDB link and you can't have one more than one identity in an NRDB link. That's correct. And that is, that is a huge limitation. Yes. Yeah. So I don't like, obviously you've got your, the, the stim hack IDs, I guess that's just a complete lapse pulling from somewhere else. Oh, fair, fair warning. It looks like I have banned cards included here because Estelle Moon is showing up for me. Uh, there's technically no, no, Estelle Moon isn't banned in, in Eternal though, is she? She's, she's not. Oh. I think there's like basically nothing that's banned in Eternal. Uh, I hadn't actually started drafting yet, but I, I will do now. Um, how many cards am I drafting? Like 50? So I'm saying that we're drafting a 40 card deck minimum. Yeah. Uh, play to seven points. Since we tend to go a little higher, I say draft 50. I'm drafting 55 because Corp gets plus five. Yeah. Because the Corp ends up building bigger decks. Because okay. Corps suck. <laughs> Um, but um, um, 
the yeah, most recent it's... change that I've made to this uh, uh, tool, there are two major ones. Firstly, when you start drafting lists, it finally shows categories by name, agenda, asset, corp ID, ice operation. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and second, I mean, we'll cut a second, I figured out a way to make sure it provides a minimum amount of economy guaranteed as yeah. opposed to economy is just luck. That being said, getting good economy is definitely still luck. It's a draft and not just a draft. It's a, this isn't a poker draft. This isn't a chess draft. This is a, this is a lottery draft. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, um, did you see, uh, your Sengrin, um, tried the tool out the other day on his stream, actually. He, he, I got to see end. that. I did. I was so happy watching it, but my God, the load time for him was atrocious. Even yeah, for it, me. It looked a bit rough for him. Um, and he got, he got some pretty, some pretty ropey draft options. Like, <laughs> um, ooh, ooh, that's what, if you're uh, used to sealed drafting from a cube, the complete lack of a power level is definitely going to stand out to you because this is not that. Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't like any of these options at all. Actually. I do love that. It shows me things that I don't remember were in the game, didn't know were in the game and would never have considered playing and then makes me think about it and decide, you know, I should actually play that. <laughs> That's a really good uh, 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 thing that this can, can do to you. Yeah, for sure. This is like, super positional, but I feel like super positional might actually be okay. This is... This is actually not terrible. How bad is that? It's pretty bad. Um, yeah. I don't like either of these, and I like this even less. This whole frame is terrible. So I'm just going to take this one and move on. Oh my gosh, I've just I've just been given like potentially I mean it's super jank, but I've been given I've been given the chance to build around a really janky combo, so I'm going for it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna hope that like the rest just works out. We've got Estel Moon, we've got one of these, we've got this. I wonder if this trigger would allow me to do both. When your turn begins, blah. When your turn begins, blah. So no, you would have to. No, I could. I could pre-res and then this and then this. But why would I want to? Right? Yeah, that's probably not the right way to think of it. Oh my gosh, I've been offered free high stakes jobs so far. <laughs> and at least one piece of ice protecting it. Ugh, no, that's no, that's just not going to work. You've been offered three high stakes jobs. Three high. I, it really wants me to. Take, I think I've taken two of them. Like, uh, but. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I really like this card in this format. I dislike this card without much better tagging than I have right now. Okay, I've been offered the same card three times. I don't like it. But I understand why. It's technically an econ card. <laughs> nice. It's got something that has gain a credit on it to mm -hmm. use. When your turn begins, um, you turn from piece of ice chest offers that can be advanced. That is also an in-core card. Interesting. I don't think I'll ever have enough of these at the rate I'm going. It's a gray ops. That's not a transaction. So yeah, blockchain is dead. Uh, well, hey, we finally got that again. So that's good. Oh, baby. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> Is this what I think it is? Is this, this is the one that lets you do this or this? Okay, so let's review. We've got this bad boy. We've got this bad boy. And now all we need is money, and then we're golden. Oh, right. I'm getting a lot of icebreakers here. Um, I guess that's a good one. Okay, it also really wants me to take push your luck. You say a lot of icebreakers. Are you talking a lot of icebreakers or talking like no way too many? Hmm. Probably not way too many yet, but, but the ratio awesome. of icebreakers is that four fifths of your ten cards is how many? Four of ten frames is what? Four fifths of uh, fifty frames is uh, forty. That can't be right. Four fifths of fifty is forty four cards. Of, yeah, three. forty cards are predetermined, and of those forty cards that are predetermined, one fifth of the frames—that's eight. Are, so you should be offered twenty-four icebreakers guaranteed. Okay. 
All right. Well, I don't think Beyond I'm that, it. you might get extras or less. And that might be way too many. Like, like thinking practically, 24 icebreakers is a lot of icebreakers. Even if you want two of each, that's you should probably not be offered more than 15. Oh, that's also good. I think we take, we'll this. take peace in our time or something that just plays into the I think we take this. I mean, let's let's review. We already have this. I'm not necessarily I just going to so provide. Yeah, I think we do this. It's fine. Okay. I'm 20 cards in. I have no win strategy. I have no anything strategy. I'm 25 in. I feel like I'm doing all right. Um, I probably don't want to get a replicate, though. So. I need something in the mid range. This isn't terrible. I don't have anything I would want to use this with for or on. There we go. That's a snap keep. Good. It's good to have a snap keep or two. This is a decent card. I. Uh... It's a it's irritating when you put it on a good central. There's a card and a protecting server. This card here is another card. Ooh, do I have a lot of low risk stuffs? Uh, but this is my fourth high stakes job. I think I'm just going to be high stakes jobbing all of your ice. So uh, I hope it's good. I'm going to have to remember what high stakes job is. <laughs> I yeah. think it cost six, gain twelve or something. Uh, yeah. But it needs to be successful. So it needs to be a successful run. It's like it's like when uh, it's like the bat, the really bad bravado. Hey, it's the pre. Oh, okay, we now officially have a build. Yes, 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 yes. We've got one, two, three, and now all we need is an actual strategy, and we're okay. Oh man, that seems awful. This card costs zero, so if you have a trash or rest asset or upgrade if you do gain credits. Ugh. Okay, I'm on to fifth high stakes job. I might just be playing high stakes job as my only econ here. You may be being offered high stakes job as your only econ. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the wonderful world of drafting. Uh, I wonder how many is too many high stakes jobs. Uh, I don't think I have anything that cares about this, and I don't want to use a public 5-3. I would literally rather have a priority requisition. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, I don't I don't think I've settled on what default cards you're allowed to have or not, but as a rule of thumb, I say Pyrex are okay, because yeah, I you, think need, you need to be illegal, really and it's a pretty shitty agenda, but it's at least somewhat useful. Yeah, so in... um. In our all NSG cube, we decided that obviously, like, we couldn't put in Pyrex because they're not NSG cards. So we did say that it would be sender messages, which are actually like a hell of a lot better. Yeah, um, uh, I'm I'm okay with that if you are, but it's your call because I'm playing Corp. Of course, I'm okay with that. Ha ha. Uh, but no, that was just for the all NSG. In this, in this, it's it's all Pyrex. Fair enough. Uh, do I want? No need to install programs. Not really. Do I want a HQ? Do I want a mass driver? Definitely not. Um, so we've got a good mix of basic stuffs. Some we've got a fair amount of cheap stuff. We've got a good amount of mid stuff. Oh my god. I don't like this, but I don't see I have a lot of options. I feel like this is actually right. All right, I'm 30 cards in. I've been offered a duplicate of my identity. I hate when that happens. I need to. Oh, I've had three duplicates of my. Of I've had quite a lot of IDs actually been thrown my way. Um, but yeah, I've been offered Kate many times, and I have taken her at least once. <laughs> at least. <laughs> oh, this might actually be. That's easy. Okay, we're at 33 cards. We definitely need to start finding something I can win with. Well, this is okay. This is okay. Both of these are pretty okay, actually. Okay, I've got my first, like, I've got my first all three of these are good. 16. All right, I need to stop picking ice. I'm clearly an isoholic. I need to stop picking ice. There's plenty of ice in this deck. I can always add more later, 
Ooh, is this better? Is this just straight better? This might just be straight better than my current... No, 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 no. You picked a lot of ice based around that. You gotta... Okay. Again, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. I love Peddler Draft, and I think a big part of why I love Peddler Draft is because I love that feeling of opening a pack and making a choice between the three options. And Peddler Draft lets you do that over and over and over, and it's kind of the best. It is a bit like that, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to be running a lot of your eyes because I have three bravados and three high stakes jobs so far. <laughs> well, that is not good for me if I don't have anything I can res early. I, I mean, it's, I'll tell you what, it's really good for you if you just have no eyes, though. Right? Because I have way, eight none of way, doesn't. points worth of agendas. I have 20 more frames to find more agenda points. I have too much ice. I really should stop drafting more of it but the game keeps saying hey 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 you want to buy some ice and it's like i really do i desperately need better econ uh probably this this is really frustrating oh it's a may not a must that's oh, great. this is like my last frame, and it's all awful. You've already drafted 50 cards? Yeah. You clearly are better at this than I am, or at least better. No, at I'm not better. I'm just, I'm just going with my, I'm going my instincts. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, snapping on stuff. Uh, res, gain two credits. Yes, yes. I'm it's never going to get an agenda money. counter. I want Mark Yale so bad because I remember how great he is, but unfortunately, Mark Yale is completely useless in a format where you can't choose to have agenda counters. <laughs> yeah. Tricky. So, uh, okay. Well, well, I've, got, I've got a oh I've got I guess I got a builder runner now, but I have like I have cards to build a runner with. Mm, this is so bad. It's probably okay. I don't know. And I'm, I'm a 40 minimum, aren't I? 40, yes. I mean, it's luck if I get it. Oh, you know that Mark Yale that I didn't take? I wish I had. It would combo nicely with this. <laughs> Give it yeah, a tag. Trash and installed program for strength. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Colossus. Colossus is good. The only thing wrong with it is if I don't need it. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. One, two, three, four, five. This is not a good agenda for me. I feel like giving you three bad publicity is a very quick way to lose the game. <laughs> oh, I forgot that I need additional... You know my really sick combo, which I said about? I forgot I needed additional stuff to pull off that combo. And Construct have... additional pylons? <laughs> I have not drawn additional stuff. So... I took... I took two copies of a card that's reliant on a strategy that I simply cannot support. So they're dead. Oh, but I don't have to put them in my deck. Yes. Yeah. I forgot about that. All right, we're definitely taking I this. Go. We're definitely taking this. Oh, my God. Titan Transnational just came up. I, I yeah, love the Titan. That's, I that's love unfair. The Although, well, I guess mm -hmm. oh, no, Titan in draft is surely, like, broken. And only if you get it early enough. It's my 42nd draft. If I had a, a, can you imagine Titan Transnational with AstroScript Pilot Program and Remastered Edition? And the same art too. <laughs> like, and, and so much more really. But unfortunately, but. the opportunity for all of those drafts is well past now. And no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually very excited to try, to try playing the Corp ID I did draft. So I'm actually not drafting it, even though it's potentially okay. I'll do that. 
do I keep the two copies of Push Your Luck and Push My Luck? I think Probably at this not. point, I'm going to need to keep a prior rec or two just to fill it out. It's not reasonable to go all, all in on getting exactly what I want. These are both terrible, but this might actually not be unbearably bad. This is terrible. This is passable. This is terrible, so this is okay. Score one of those could be a real pain in your side. This might get me out of a jam. Oh, oh. no, never mind. It's like, on the one hand, free Jackson Howard, but on the other hand, uh, depends on how bad corpse are. We need to figure out if corpse are any good first and then decide if that's necessary. I think you probably give corpse at least one Jackson Howard. That's you my got... inclination as well, but your call. Uh, just because otherwise there's no way to mitigate flood. <laughs> yeah, I think I think one is like the very, the very least. Again, with like all energy, obviously we said one spin doctor because we kept it energy. And it worked quite nicely. I just need to I need to tweak a few of the numbers, but the cube seem to. These so, are all terrible, but at least that one I can bluff as something valuable. Please. This might help me destroy an important part of a rig. This I remember everyone used to play, and I don't remember why. I have very few win cons here. That's slightly concerning. Yeah, I don't think I have. Oh, right, I get plus three extra drafts. Do, do I just keep this because it's a win con? So we'll give the room to Probably not. Drafts. This, if it fires, gets them tagged or double tagged, which then lets me do this or this, and that's basically it. So it's not actually that great. It might be okay, but it's not that great. This might let me destroy the one thing that kills me, whatever it is. So, yeah. yeah. This is nasty, but this is ultimately more important. This is technically money and memory, both of which are useful. I feel like I've got to keep the high stakes jobs because that's like basically my entire deck. Uh, so I'm just cutting power to the people. That's a shame. I actually wanted to play power to the people because I've never had a chance to play it. Self adapting code. So is there truly a one strength barrier which just reads end the run? They cost three credits. Yeah, it was so that was there to. I guess it was anti. Time. It was whatever, wasn't it? It's it you um. People who ran zero breakers are just going for parasite. Yeah, but it's just yeah. it, looking at it now and recognizing what we do for three credits on one piece of ice, right? Embolus oh. and self adapting cold wall. I mean, come on, <laughs> right? Embolus is so. But embolus is above the curve. Okay. I have finished uh, 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 getting my sack of crap, stack of crap, cool. sack of stack, and yay, the glitch where it only showed one copy of everything you had multiple copies of looks like it's better, but yeah, I thought should. I had more copies of, no, wait a second, it's not. I have three copies of this card, and it's saying that I only have two copies. Uh, it's fine oh. on my slide. They're not it's necessarily me... grouped together. Check, because they're not... Mine aren't always... Oh, you know what happened? No, no, I see it here. It says one, and then later on it says two. So uh, it's relying on this list to be sorted, and the list isn't sorted. And it's specifically not sorted because that's the very last card I clicked on, so there's no trigger to resort it, so it got put in the wrong place. That's a very interesting glitch, and I'm very glad I noticed it because nearly I wouldn't have. Okay, cool. I can fix that one day in theory. In theory. In practice, time to pedal me some C. Uh, casual. Um, remind me what the required agenda point total is uh, for... Um, 
40 card court. 44 card court. Six or, seven, six or seven points. Seven, seven points. We're doing 40 card or 44 card. Seven whatever. points. So I think it's still 18, right? 18? Okay, good. Well, that's interesting. Um, for like a, for a 40, 40, say you'd play 44 cards. Correct. And I need to make about 10 cuts. And Oh, and we're allowing Jackson Howard? Yeah, you get one, Jackson. Thank you. That will dramatically increase my odds of not outright losing the game. Uh, so I don't hate this deck, but I'd be lying if I said I loved it. <laughs> uh, I'm most excited about... Actually, hang on a second. Didn't I have a lot of advanced assembly lines? I thought I had a lot of them. I took it at least a couple times. It looks like I... My, uh, my Icebreaker Suite is particularly... Like, probably the most interesting Icebreaker Suite I think I've drafted. That is very interesting. As in, so it's, it's the best of every era because Eternal, or as in, it's a crap stack of crap that's held together by chewing gum and duct tape. It's not... <laughs> It's not a sack of crap. Like everything <laughs> has a place. Some of the stuff is like good, but it's weird. like you would never, you'd never put <laughs> these breakers together. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I truly believe a big part of playing this is embracing the badness. Like, oh yeah. Which is a card from the root of the server or the server? The server. Are protecting it except during installation. Do this. Okay. So will that be something I ever trigger? Will that be something you ever trigger? And what does that mean exactly? No, 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 no. Maybe. No, 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 no. Okay. So this is the highest on the chopping block. This is lower because anything that says money. I literally don't think this ever comes into play. You would need to have specifically that, and I would need to specifically need it dead, and I would need the means of threatening a tag, and it's just too much. If, if the stars line up and it's Tuesday, then I can use that. This is really good. This is actually potentially the thing that saves me from losing the game, so that's worth keeping one of. Let's look through these ice and decide which one I simply don't want. I think I want five big ones. One. This is this is a very expensive pop-up window. <laughs> Somehow I think that might not be worth it in the end. I'm being very careful not to watch your stream right now because I don't want to see like. I, I appreciate that. I, I assumed stuff. as much. And I'm, I'm... I'm listening, and it's hilarious. Just to just to like. To guesstimate. I, I work out in my head like what it is that you might have. It's kind of interesting. This is a f this is blank. Is it any good blank? Not really. I'm actually better off cutting it. And better off cutting. I need this or this to be able to meet a good scoring pattern. God, I have no plan for a scoring pattern. I just have a stack of things that I hope work. Actually, this, coupled with all that, actually has a shot at being okay. I didn't take Distract the Masses. I thought I took Distract the Masses. I guess I, I talked myself out of it, and I shouldn't have. It's a mini Jackson yeah, that you have to pay for. The masses is, is worth it. It's like that. It's simulation reset. They're all... Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, I undervalued it because, oh, I should just get better recursion, but I should have said recursion? Score! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do... Oh my god, I have nothing here. Let's do... How many cards do I still have to cut? Seven? Jesus. All right, we're gonna add. Uh, we're gonna add a priority requisition immediately. There's no good reason not to have one of those. For no other reason than because my deck won't be legal without it. <laughs> 
This could potentially save me the game. This, does it have to be resed? Yes, it does. Okay, this is very good. This is acceptable liability. This is useful. This is awesome. This is very good. This is self-protecting and therefore awesome. This is very good. This is a piece of crap that has no place in my deck whatsoever, and I'm only keeping it because I know it's a good card in other decks. <laughs> but if it's scored, this is just so mighty. So I kind of want to keep it anyway. <laughs> it's like I can't classic. keep this and then. Does this return it to hand or return to the board? It returns to the board? Oh my, oh, it has to be face down in archives. Ah, okay, so it's a sack of crap. Bye-bye. <laughs> well... No, is the plan to score two three-pointers two, three or two two-pointers, or three two-pointers? Like, you gotta decide. Because scoring a three-pointer and a two-pointer makes you feel very dumb. And then you just score an extra two-pointer. The plan is to not lose horribly. That is basically the only plan. Losing unhorribly, fine. We have no idea what he's on, so this is very useful tech. We have no idea what he's on, so this is okay. This is very okay, especially if these go together. This is good. This is kind of soft, honestly. I mean, for the price you paid, do you really need the core damage? This only makes sense if you keep one, two of these. I got rid of Escalate Vitriol already, so I don't need to worry about that I'm gonna go out on a limb and say click for three credits is really bad. It's probably gonna happen. Hmm? No, no. As in using the operation, click for three credits is probably oh, really right. bad. And well, yeah, but how much worse is this? Two clicks for ten credits for seven credits. That's like clicking for cre three credits twice. I probably don't need multiples of this. I really like this. I really like this. I really like this. I'm hoping for a sneaky happy with this, but if it doesn't happen, I can always just throw it away. I'm not playing 53 cards. <laughs> that would be dumb. I think this is the remote ice. I think this is the remote ice. I'm betting high stakes job just got rated very high power on account of the fact that you drafted it more than anybody else has ever drafted it. <laughs> I mean, it was the best option on at least two of the times that it was it was offered to me. So, hey, I believe you. Okay, uh, let's start axing some of these. Good, good, passable, passable to good. Everyone says she's good, so I have to believe. God tier, very good. Kind of weak, very good. Fairly okay, maybe. Questionable at best. Uh, that's a, like without seeing it, that's a cut like immediately. The questionable at best, and probably the, the two which you label passable. You need to get rid of them. But what if it ends up being the best card in my deck? <laughs> right, I think we cut this guy. Uh, statistically speaking, I pay two to res him. He gives me two to trash him, and it's worth nothing. Like At most, it makes me two credits. I think we trash this, because if I'm building tall towers of ice where this actually saves me a lot of money in the end, something has gone dreadfully wrong with the game. I don't necessarily like the idea of trashing this because i have plenty to protect it with so we keep that this is worth money and tempo and everything i have no recursion though so it truly is just click for two credits I don't need two of these. I barely even need one of these. Uh, 
you know, if nothing else works, this still works. That's part of the joy. Yeah, but if you're down to using this, that's pretty bad. But you got this? That's true. Uh, this combo is pretty nice. Of course, if I get R&D locked, all of these become a huge liability. Let's go down to one of these, I think. And let's just not get R and D locked. <laughs> I mean, I certainly have the means to not be R and D locked. Uh, if I do this and then cut one card. Which of these has the lowest trash cost? That's probably the most vulnerable of the lot. Whatever has the low trash cost. Oh, why are we keeping this? It's literally terrible. There's literally no value in this card whatsoever. Except to use with bioroids, which I have only a handful of total. And this only works with that handful. So this is blank 90% of the time. So why the hell is this in my deck? There we go. Okay, we are technically legal at 49 cards. And that might actually be okay. Sick. Uh, are you good to go or not yet? I'm, I, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, ready. I've even put a game up, and I've put your Twitch TV in it and everything. Cause, then, you know. I, well, I appreciate the the setup. Let me let me play this deck and then demand a rematch where I cut five cards for consistency. How's that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Pedal me this. It is casual <laughs> illegal, as in as God intended. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Kathy Kate. Okay, and I instantly regret all of my building decisions. <laughs> cool. Can I play this? I don't think I can play this hand. No. So none of these are particularly great as an opening hand, but there's also no three-point agendas to be stolen with no defense. Oh, that this is, this changed is, very uh, little. This is much better. All right. Uh, good luck. Have fun. You too. This is like genuinely solid opening. Quite happy with this. Ah. Yeah. Tell me you've just drawn it two prior Uh, Not quite. Okay. Ooh. It seems like a... Actually, hang on while I do some quick math. Uh, yeah, I need to undo what I just did, and sure. I clicked the wrong card. Hang on. Uh, oh, we good? Dad, like, you've got an AAL and Blue Sun. That's technically a pretty good combo. Yes, I agree. And I am unfortunately being incredibly skittish to use it so crassly as I am here. Oof. Uh, right. Let's find me a bravado. I'm sorry, Finn. No! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not quite an account siphon, but... It's a good oh, eco okay, so. and a good draw engine to start the game. Fair enough. And you've got the money train. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Uh, all right, boys, we did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe this is actually going to work out. I'm so happy. What? What have you got? I have one card in my deck that makes no sense unless it's scored early. 
that is not a very good card. But holy cow, I got it off. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty that is pretty good. That's the that's oh my god. It was worth throwing off my opening, having no ice on HQ or R and D, and praying to happy Jesus that it works out because Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I forgot it's Kate. I should have like I should have installed one a turn. <laughs> oh, um, are you like heavy resources? Oh. Okay, that changes everything. My ability to win this game went up significantly. Break up to two barrier subroutines on every piece. Uh, you pay me? I pay oh. you. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Whoa, that's a big boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I guess access is win games, and now you have some of them. Now, checking this, is it installed or is it anywhere? Trash is a corp card anywhere. Yeah, okay. So that's just good for me, right? That's like, I, I should be happy now. Especially as I technically have a card in hand which helps me trash stuff. Duh. Just saying. That's all I, that's, I, I mean, that could be a million cards in Netrunner. But... Somewhere I have a card that does a thing that I like doing. You don't say. Uh, do I do this now or do I wait? Tempo is going to become more important, so maybe I wait. Ugh. I hate these decisions. Problem is, your blue sun, so like taxing you out is actually pretty hard. Maybe res ice and oh, hello. I think we go for this. Ooh. Oh. Like, I doubt you trash Symmetric Visage, and you doubt you trash a full daily cast, so I probably just get a, a payday here. Yeah, I think you do. I'm tempted to trash the cast. If it would tick down one more time, then, then it's going in the bin. Mm hmm That's why I didn't think I could wait two more turns to do this. I think, oh, no, 100%. Uh, I think Visage... I think Symmetric Visage might go, and that's okay. I think, yep. Oh, you kept giving me all. Okay, perfect. That's good. Now I have enough money to defend and off and attack. That's that's kind of what I need. I don't like having to do it this way, but hey, what you gonna do? Falsified credentials, naming asset. Ah, nice. I did not see that coming. Okay. How could I have with the entire eternal card pool at your disposal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Yeah, I am I am loving this game already. So this uh to the I'm guessing one person watching the game uh is is exactly what I, I friggin' love about um Yeah, thingy. The thing I, I love about pedal draft. Sure. It's it's genuinely random, you don't know what you're gonna get, but oh one more turn on biased reporting. So you have free money, click for money more money oh man i am very grateful that i got off ares when i did or i would be in bad shape right now i mean i'm bad shape period but you know what i mean like i would have even less going for me oh i forgot about my cape didn't kate anything it's a shame right let's try one oh i've only got three clicks now i've got to remember that oh you are like a corp except with money <laughs> uh oh that's that's actually like that's a huge issue uh i haven't played blue sun in so long I that so or i lose it uh, and then little... i guess and let me also push the screen down so that i just forgot all the stuff i have to do when i start streaming to make it easier for me to read jackpot your turn begins put money when an agenda is added to your score area Take any number of credits and then trash the jackpot. So, okay, and you have a infinitely strong code gate breaker eventually. Okay. Eventually. Kind of hate your rig. <laughs> so far, it's it's okay. Uh, we're good with the mandatory draw here. Uh, is this still kosher? We'll see if hard to work, harder work comes to like bite me in the ass. Because having free click turns could isn't great, but it's at least going to pay for itself soon. 
Let's put this on server one and click the credits. I think that's okay. This needs to go in here. We need enough to res it. One, two, three. Okay, you have a rig. I've got a rig. Three, four, five, I've got something going on. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, um, um, when your turn begins, okay, mandatory draw. So that's interesting. So I can't force the Maryland campaign to take down and then blue sun it, because that's what I wanted to do. And I should be able to do that. Right. Um, They're yeah. both sort of turn triggers, so I would process um, the Maryland. Clicking on, um... Oh, you have to click on the. Yeah, Where click on blue sun. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry. I'll sequence it better next time. That, if you knew my hand, you know that's what the obvious move was. <laughs> oh, I think that's what you're doing anyway. Like, if you've got, if you've managed to get a campaign in your blue sun, then there's bizarre. no way I'm letting it tick to zero. Unless, you know, I let it tick to zero. Okay. This is actually very good here. So heads I win, tails you lose situation. I'm okay with that. But ideally I need to... Oh, but ideally I need to make sure... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I hate math. Cannot do all of it. Can only do some. So I either wait or I just go for it. And it's hard to say which is correct here. Intriguing. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Because of this, I like this very much. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's nice, but it's not great. Ooh, oh, oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah, oh. Uh, yeah, we, we do those. Yeah, we do those. Yeah, we do those. <laughs> uh, did not see that coming, but yeah, we do those. Because you're I mean, dead if you don't break it. <laughs> oh, the fact that you get this money back is, like, disgusting. I'm not That's even going to be... That's the only reason Shiashi made it into the deck. And the fact that you can't afford to trash it after everything is done. <laughs> Pretty gross. That is absolutely disgusting. I feel What's worse little... now is that if I still had this bravado, I could bravado server one and make like a ton of money. Oh, um, wait, you don't have bravado? I just used it to run the Chiashi, which is oh, that's a bravado. Right. I thought that was a high stakes job. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so uh, end of turn was draw up. Okay, gotcha. Um, I think here we do this and we do this. Just on the off chance that having liquid cash makes more sense. Uh... See, it's hard to tax out, Blue Sun. That should have, like, absolutely crippled you. I would never have made that play if I wasn't no, listening. I agree. But I also gave you, a, I gave you money to do that. Feels disgusting. Right. I, 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 and, and that's why the bait made sense, right? Because, I mean, who yeah. actually builds a giant remote server and then builds another server on the side with one ice that isn't just a two credit res piece of junk, right? Yeah. yeah I probably should have just let that go. Like... But you didn't know what it was. 
The last time I, I visited, didn't, didn't think it would be at Chiashi. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. What what Blue Sun runs Chiashi? Actually, Blue Sun might have run Chiashi. That's true. Yeah, uh, I think Chiashi is expected in Blue Sun, but I didn't expect you to draft it. <laughs> no, that's true. The moment I saw Chiashi, I snap picked it. It's like, oh, yep. Yeah. We, we we keep those. We just keep those. Uh, I think we just take credit here. It's fine. There's a lot of good things you can do. My God, though, but I must say, for having run headfirst into a Chiashi and broke it with a Tycoon, you are doing quite well financially. Well, Tycoon's like a pretty good breaker. It's okay. just bad. Like, it's good at breaking ice. It's just bad at the fact that it gives you money. Yeah. Think. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think I can res this. I think I can res this. What? Nine. Nine. You have a very good high strength breaker, and it still costs you the moon. No, it costs me nine. <laughs> you can click through it. Well, one of them oh, anyway. Already, I have one click. Mm -hmm. You can save your rig, take two core damage, and end the run. You got a tear and a Chiashi and your blue sun. <laughs> it's a little unfair. Okay, what I, happened? Call, I call bullshit. <laughs> you broke with money? Oh, yeah. dang. I, mean, I, guess I, I to... don't have any other option. That is fair. For all you know, it's uh, agenda in the back. <laughs> it doesn't uh, have to be a sonic agenda because i need my jackpot money right oh i forgot your jackpot i completely forgot your jackpot actually if this, uh, if this turns out to be a ngo front which you managed to like also get in blue sun. <laughs> uh, i'm thinking hang on a moment i gotta yeah no worries three, two, three, and then gets the, and that takes that and that sucks and then He's down to four click. And this walk out. Yeah. Okay, we're good. I might take back my offer to give you a Jackson Howard. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, this feels so bad because I just feel like this is something I'm gonna want to trash now. Oh no! Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's it, it, uh, fair and square. Take... That's an agenda. You, sir, earned that. I will take all of the credits. Thank you very much. And did not. I mean, if you know... might manage to get a hard hit news or something, then I'd take. A... I mean, uh, I'd take a hard hit and use I guess. Uh, but... I'd like to take two credits before I bounce this. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Because it's it's weird. If I say okay, it doesn't let me get the trigger. Sure. So that's why I just did it that way. Okay. Uh, I guess we mandatory draw here. I think that's in fact a requirement, hence the name mandatory. Um, and then what do we do? I think we have to play this. I don't think we have to I think this. putting down the grave digger was just silly. Like I was I was planning on going in, trashing the Marilyn, starting to get some stuff going on it, but I think that's just a mistake. What? Oh. That's on there. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend that this deck isn't doing exactly what I want it to do, exactly the way no, I want it to do it. Because it I'm kind all right. of is. I've I've realized like something quite cool. This is all right. This is fine. Um, <laughs> you have the stealth rig and the stealth rig right about when you needed it, right on time. Good job. Uh, I, I'd be I'd be salty if it weren't for the fact that everything else has gone exactly the way I needed it to all games. Yeah. So no possible room to be salty. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, I'll break that. Sorry, I thought that was it. I assume you'll break, don't worry. <laughs> uh, uh, whoa, whoa, I haven't scrolled chat in a while. Whoops. 
Wait, do I want to break that? Yeah. Yes, you definitely do. Well, lose two credits now or lose two credits later. <laughs> uh, it's free credits for me now is the issue. Um, mm -hmm. I, I guess a free credit is still a credit. That's fair. Oh, no trash on the Maryland campaign? No it's... trash on the Maryland campaign. I did not see that coming. I will not lie to you. I did not see that coming. All right. Uh, mandatory draw. Did not use my blue sun. Probably should have. Actually, I definitely should have. I should have blue sun the HQ ice, since you know what it is. Uh, let's go. Boop. And just credit up. Yeah, credit up. There, there's someone what hit spectating our game with one of the best avatar names I've seen. <laughs> Welcome, Victoria's Egret. <laughs> May you become internet famous if for nothing else than just for your moniker. Absolutely stunning name. So down with that. Conjures all the right images of shaperware. All right. Let's just be Kate and set up for a bit, shall we? So technically, I should be able to take two off Maryland campaign to go to four, bounce Maryland campaign to go to six, right? I'm not doing it, but I should be able to do that. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not. This is a start turn, right? When your turn begins, and this is when your turn begins. Yeah. You can pull back this tier if you want. Oh, I, I, I'm quite happy with the tier where it is. Love to gift is it? Okay. Whoa! Oh, you've got some. Just because you've got the double access to HQ, I want you to know there's no point checking. Okay. The commander is so horrible for me to break. Hmm. The commander is a real issue for me to break. Well, like... no, only if you have cards. Well, that's true. Actually, I probably just don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are any of your cards actually worth keeping? You got Heimdall too. How did you re how did you get all this ice? In I can answer that question so. because on the very first turn of the game, I had Blue Sun, and I okay. said, oh, just, oh, "This is a draft. I'm just going to draft five to six big ice. I don't care how bad they are. I'm going to take some big ice, and I'm going to make this work. Because if I have to click for credits to twelve, but then you never know where I put my Chiashi." Or Heimdall, or I'm gonna get at least one of them. I didn't yeah. know I was gonna get three. I'm kind of yeah. happy I got three. Literally got them. <laughs> uh, do I draw here? No, I think I just, I think I just slappy wag this down. Yeah, we just slap this bad boy down. I kind of feel like Heimdall too could almost get. Well, doesn't matter anymore because no boat. I could almost see that getting play nowadays. All right. Well, I will say this. I didn't think this deck was going to be amazing. I don't think it's amazing, but I am very satisfied with how it's playing. It doesn't feel like, oh, this deck doesn't have a shot. Corp has no winning strategy. This is never going to work. It feels like, yeah, I mean, it's a fight, and I'm not winning it, but I'm not losing either. It's true. There's a... Whoa, what just happened? You drew, 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 and discarded. So you have three decoders? Yeah. And I was thinking decoder will be the thing to trash. I should have trashed your damn killer. All right, anyway. Uh, do we reset anything? Nah, I think we're very good with the board as it is. If you want to go after my money when I have 16 credits, feel free. And then no. something else, something nasty, something that makes you cry tears of sadness or happiness or neutrality, <laughs> tears of neutrality. <laughs> Actually, what is wrong with putting this there? I do that and I trash this. I mean, how much is this to break exactly? Like two credits? So who gives a damn, right? Sorry, this is a thinky moment for me. No worries. 
you're gonna have one, two, three, four credits. Oh, that's what happened to your click. You only have three clicks. Um, I only have three. You're gonna be at eight. The rest credits, of the game, as far as I'm aware. Eleven-ish credits, give or take, to get into here, assuming you're trying. And then I aggressive secretary, and hopefully that's enough to win the game. Yes. But nice. if hypothetically I don't have an aggressive secretary, then I would need to come up with alternative plans. I slap this on the top of here. Alternative plans are possible. That's that's truly painful. And that doesn't leave enough cash for this. But it's close. This on top. I promise I'm getting close to a finish on this turn. Just give me one moment. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. I think we just do this or this. Absolutely needs to be broken. Costs one, two, three, four, five. Four, five. Absolutely needs to be broken. Costs one, two. It doesn't actually need to be broken as much. Definitely does not need to be broken at all. It costs six. So, yeah. All right. It's all you. All right. Let's think. What am I doing here? I, be I believe me. I think you've earned a good think after the amount of thinky oh. I just did. <laughs> That's such a good draw. I wasn't going to draw, and now I'm really happy to draw. So. Stim hack? Not stim hack. Oh! <laughs> if, I, if I can't trash stuff, then I'm just going to... The first I'm time you trade gonna... access to and do not steal or trash it, the court must trash it. <gasps> At random! Oh, you cruel and unusual man. Mm. Is that she actually still in hand, or...? Uh... That's the turn? That's the turn. I only oh. get free. All right, yes, of course. Uh, we definitely add this one to hand, though. So that we don't get just burned forever. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, we're not yeah. poor, and we're not losing, but we also haven't won. <laughs> uh, I, I I think that was the correct play for me. I think anything. Yeah. Less than that would have been too. You what this was. Oh, and this doesn't even break it. Oh, <laughs> seven or busto. I've got to boost twice. <laughs> There's a reason oh. everyone played Gutenberg back in the day, and it wasn't because of the reading press. Uh, no, but like, if no, you're better off letting it fire and removing the tag, probably. Like, yeah. honestly. But I'm so close to it, to Ninja actually breaking this well, and it just doesn't. <laughs> All it takes um, is a, a, a data sucker, right? And then suck that data. Oh, Maul will trigger. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so I need to actually defend my servers now. <laughs> um, well, I'm just going to have to take a tag. I don't want to take a tag here. How much is it? Seven. Ooh, point of order. Your trickster taco will trigger this turn. Yeah. So you need to spend um, credits. So I'm going to okay. spend credits anyway. Yeah. I'm paying seven credits to break this sodding thing. I think the Gutenberg has done me good. Or good. Or Gutenberg. Well, that's annoying. Um, if you hit my Chiashi, I will not be... I will not cry. I will merely let a single manly tear escape my eye. Um... We, we we deal with those. We deal with those. So, uh, 
Peddler Draft. Fun. And these decks are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yours is doing way more than it should be doing. This is <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, draw my J How or anything. I just Peddler Draft. But... Well, you're about to draw a J How. Then uh, why didn't you trash it? Oh, because tags. <laughs> And because I wanted the more trigger, but like it's it's like somewhat irrelevant because it's like I get more trigger, but then you get a dex. And then I draw it back or something else or something else else else. Feels bad. Like right, well, you've got money now. Um, what should I bounce to hand and what should I not bother bouncing? Anything I put on top of that giant ice cream stack is going to become even more hard to deal with. So maybe I just leave that for now. Bouncing to the hand and then. Stalling is probably okay. <laughs> Actually, I don't need to bounce anything to hand. I already have good money. That's true. That's actually really true. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this, and we're going to do... Man, I thought Ninja would be all right. Ninja is sucking. Ninja is great. For a very Ninja's specific, for a very specific range of greatness. I'm just looking at what other options I have, and it's not good. I could find that if I find if I find that, then that's better. I think this will actually be enough, and then I can just start trying to win the game next. Yeah, so step one, lock down centrals and check. Step two, get money, check. Step three, profit. Wait, what is Wait, You can have money. You cannot initiate um, runs. Oh, okay. So mutually assured payment. So how do I make sure that when it's time to go big on this remote, I can go big on this remote? That's the big question. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and trash that. That's a shame. You'll have to trash it and maw it, or both trash and maw it, and I can't deal with any of those options. So so hard at work. Econ engine that I wouldn't... I don't think I've ever built a deck that includes hard at work, but it's really doing work in this format. It's, I mean, it has done work. Environmental I, testing and a Skulljack? This is probably too slow, but I just I need to get no. this... No, you, you picked the right window. Testing, and I might you as well. the right window it. for doing something slow, right? Like, wait any longer, and it'll be too slow. And similarly, oh. this is the time to go to five. Oh, that's a big problem. Even though, like, technically, that's a slow move or whatever. Yes, but it gets me to game point. Which is where I really need okay. to be. Right Am I now. triggering hard at work and then selling it to Aesops is the question. Triggering hard at work. Ooh, interesting. Oh, but I kind of need. I might. I'm gonna need clicks soon. You may be better served taking three credits and not bothering with the uh, the two credits and just keeping the click. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. I think I'm actually planning to run my monster server twice. Because I kind of need to start, like, I probably need to trash this Jackson Howard because my only real thing going on here is I've got more. And more's no good if you've got a rest Jackson Howard. Oh, because I can get more cards to replace the ones you... Mm. Also, you can just, like, if I more stuff into archives, then it means nothing. I mean, it means it's not in my hand. Can't hurt you with what I don't have, right? Let's put it this way. If you had mod my, my Chiashi, you would know for a fact that... Well, you wouldn't know for a fact. But if you had mod my Chiashi, none of these would be Chiashis. Oh, uh, wait. I've already lost the click from it. Shit. From what? Sorry. It's fine. Uh, oh, oh, the hard oh, oh, Ninja actually deals with this one okay. No, it's a code gate. Ninja doesn't oh. deal with it at all. 
Oh, no, but it's fine. I've got, I've got refractor. Refractor. Yeah, you've got like the best decoder. Oh, actually, wait a second. One I'm gonna install my black orchestra from the from the bin. Okay, that's certainly fine. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But wait, because you have Taka money. That's why. Um, no, because it triggers my environmental testing, and I get a Kate trigger from it. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. That is right. Oh my God, do you have thirty four credits? Yeah. Wow. You actually have enough money to threaten the monstrosity that I've constructed. I have something of an engine going on here with Ace. Right, now I have to stop and think for a second. Let's say hypothetically you get in there and you trash my Jackson. It does not trigger Maw. Let's say you get in there and you Maw with my Jackson. I can shuffle back anything that you've trashed. Let's say that you get in there and I don't let you trash my Jackson because I remove it first. No, no, I'm all good with this. Okay, go ahead. If you want Jackson, he's all yours. 100% trash and Jackson. Perfect. I think that's the correct way to do it. Um, I'm taking two credits off of Marilyn and then bouncing sure. it. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Oh my word. This is ridiculous. I like when the ice comes over the runner side of the board. We're not quite there yet, but uh we're there on this side. I've got to scroll out. Oh, um, as do I, but I, I guess I okay. am a little bit. Do I need to like Do I need I'm... to consider anything ridiculous? NGO front, baby! <laughs> I'm thinking more ice wise. Oh. I think I'd run first click here so I can click for a Heimdall 2 and take a brain. A core, even. Right. Yeah, we're playing with cards old enough that they hadn't decided to call it that yet. Um, so here... I mean, if you've dropped it like right. an enemy or something like that, okay. then good for you. We're good? Yeah. All right. Uh... Oh, wait, res. There we go. I thought I hit continue, but I meant to hit res. Ah, this one, this one it breaks. No, it's still five credits. Yeah, you're actually cheaper just paying four it's credits. It's cheaper to pay. It's stuff. free to pay is what it is. All right. Oh, you're not in cat. Sorry. There you go. My fault. All set. Okay. I mean, any number of traps kills me here. Which. Right. But at some point, you have to take it on good faith that if I'm resing five ice, I probably am not trapping you as well. I mean, that would just be. <gasps> I used all my stealth credits. Wait, what? Shit. <gasps> it's fine. I can get through because I've got Black Orchestra. But... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, wait, what? No, I I felt bad at that point. Does environmental does it... testing trigger here? Oh no, you have so one. Much... Yeah, it does. So I like I'd have installed the Black Orchestra anyway, but it's so much more expensive. Like I should have just left one. Why didn't I leave one? I because I mean, come on. You really think you're gonna use it? There was no code gates left, except for that one. I should be like assumed. At least. Right, come on, show me a trap. Nope. You get money. Yeah, but you get to be on the board for winning the game. That counts. Interesting. Uh, 
Do I need to float more money? I may as well. I may as well take back the Viper. Not leave you an easy server. I mean, I have to pay more for it. I really wish I could have pulled one before making that run. Hmm. Like, I have to run. I can't actually, no, I can't afford to run this. Uh, so, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to. You can't? I thought with Aesop's Pawn Shop, you could probably get in. I don't think so. Like, the tier alone is 9. This is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I mean, I could take a tag, I guess. Like, And you can click through the tier. I mean, it's not... On uh, if I click through the tier, then you win next turn, assuming you draw. Oh, that's true, that's true. I get the clicks also. That's yeah, it's like... <laughs> um... If there was a code gate a bit earlier, then I might be able to do it. I guess I can. I strictly can do it. I draw one. I take another core from Heimdall. Right. And right. The when it gets to be in Azuma, I get to install my Black Orchestra, and then. Um, and that will give you the payday off of the environmental testing. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. But I should, have, should have thought of that. I think this is just the Marilyn. There's a very good chance of that. I would bank on that if I were you. I mean, how many three twos could I possibly have drafted? Okay. Is there any chance this doesn't go off? Because if it doesn't go off, I lose the game. I think that is. I have exactly enough. I think you're one short. Oh, you have the uh, uh, trickster talker. It's, it's yeah. exactly eight. It's it's eight okay. anyway. Um, and use some of these. I guess I should have only used one. No, it doesn't. Matter. If I. G. Just... Man. So I was going to install double advance that in the remote, but I realized that if I do that, you will try to run it. And if you give it your all, you will get <clears throat> Yeah. Off. If you install double advance, that then... means it's time to take all the core damage, click through the tier with one click, and let me trash your rig and just whatever it takes. And when you're doing whatever it takes, I think you get in. Yeah. I think if I'm sure, like after I've done the mass, it's, I think without the environmental testing going off, I mm -hmm. can't get in, but when that goes off, when I hit the Inazuma, so then... The cards I, I was digging for and needed are Luminal Transubstantiation, Accelerated Beta Test, and CityWorks Project. Any of those three would have been fine. Installed that double against a CityWorks, I don't think you'll be able to get your hand size large enough to deal with it. No, not in the moment. I think it'll uh, take you too many clicks to prep for the run. Um, which means Maul won you the game. <laughs> Sick. Uh, nice. this that, was, was that, that was quite nicely balanced to be fair between the two sides i i did not feel like this was a uh, uh unreasonable game no i felt like it was drag out at some points i don't think that you having drafted four or five high stakes jobs ruined your gameplay maybe i i i only saw one of them huh uh, yeah, but they're right at the end of my deck, apparently, and I would have loved to see more bravados, like, I think I wasted the first bravado not using it on the big remote. That should have been so, I had Estelle Moon in hand, 
Yeah, I just saw her. My turn last play was going to be Estelle plus Maryland campaign with the one counter, right? Yeah. And then just conveniently get all kinds of Estelle money, mass draw. But I realized I need to be credit perfect on Chiashi because you might run HQ. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you could mass draw with Estelle and probably hide the prior rep. It, but the most counters I would have had was one. Okay, yeah. Right? Like, it wasn't actually going to be enough. Um, I she was better off hoping that you weren't going to go right? broke running at HQ. Hmm? Oh, you had to click up to get to credits. I was at eleven, without without having uh, done that. Yeah, so I needed to actually do that. Um, right. In this deck of the cards that I included in the end, I have Capital uh, Commercial Bankers Group, the Sensi. Yeah. I have Sundu. I have Refuge Campaign twice, three times, three times. Oh wow! So that that, that Aries was like technically huge i mean you didn't draw any of the cards which you needed for it to be relevant but it no was... well, i have market forces in hand since the beginning of the game but yes the you, you're 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 absolutely right my deck has eight to ten unprotected assets right because i'm blue sun if you eventually get poor enough to let me keep one or two of them i make money hand over fist yeah and i have i think 15 or 20 ice let me double check i have 19 ice in this deck right because I knew what kind of deck I was. That's why I went with 49 cards, even though I only had to go 40. Because I figured yeah. I can afford to drag this out a little bit. Although for some bizarre reason, I forgot to cut TLDR, which I really should have cut. Like, it doesn't belong in this deck in any way. But uh, you uh, get it in, get it in hmm? front of a tier, and it's insane. Really? I mean, it's just three more credits. And it's a positional ice. Well, you yeah, but you've also... It's, it's like... Uh, it's Yeah, it's it's like very very positional but i think with the ice that you've got like blue sun is v1 court that can that can position ice and that's why i allowed the inazuma into my deck and kept it yeah i mean turn, the inazuma trade good here turn one leaving hq and rnd open and double icing server one so that i could score out right was an all-in play and using the advanced assembly line so that I would have enough credits to res six worth of ice, bounce three and advance and score, going to zero. I mean, that was such an all-in play. But if it does go off, you're not going to just trash every econ asset all game, right? You're going to do it slow. Yeah. And, and that's all I need, just a little bit of breathing room to get some... Like, this is what I said, like, really early, I had the Skulljack and the Gravedigger in hand, and oh. I was going to, like, go to town, and then you score an Ares, and that plan goes out the window, like, pretty early. If you had Skulljack plus Gravedigger, and I was playing horizontal with Commercial Bankers Group, oh, Trash for One, Sundu, oh, Trash for One, and you don't get money, Refuge Campaign, oh, you paid four, got two, I'll trash it for three. Yeah. Yeah this game would have been a very painful experience in the other direction. Free melange trashes. Uh, but in the end, I didn't do any of that. In the end, I only had one asset for 80% of the game. That's all you needed. That made and me 80% like, of my money. You kept. You can pull it back. Uh, should we drop the other side? Uh, let me take a look at the time. If it's before 4, then definitely. If it's after 4, then I need to start packing, which is unfortunate. But that's, uh, that's fine. Either way. Uh, it's oh, not in here, so it's it is just off. it is just past four. Damn, yeah, that's all right. Uh, we can do it. Well, but but that means that that you know what that means, right? It means I owe you one game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you think of the peddler draft yeah. in terms of glitches, fire, and uh, etc.? Uh, I quite liked it. I think I prefer the grid drafting of the options just because I think there's slightly more like slightly more uh, strategy with it maybe like ped peddler draft is definitely the like slightly wilder approach as in because you just have no idea what you're going to get from from grid to grid whereas like in in the grid draft you're like okay i can take like these two things and i and i know that they work together or or i know that covers like what i'm missing you know Agreed. Um, also, grid drafting, at least the way I have it set up and the way it's done in my experience, is through a cube. 
So you're dealing with a controlled environment yeah. of curated cards. Yeah, you're not going to get. I have dec I have refractor, but there's no stealth credits in this entire slot machine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have access to many stealth credits. I just happened to pull attacker like really early, so I got like pretty lucky on that one. Um, right. I mean, and and I guess. I mean, different strokes, different folks. I will definitely say that I love a good grid draft. And I'll also say sometimes I'm not ready for the mental commitment of a grid draft. And so mm -hmm. it's very comfortable. It, it's a comfort food to be like, eh, I'm just going to throw a, throw a peddler. And whatever I, I, I would never, pro not never. I don't think the deck that I put together here is a deck I would have built. Yeah. But it was super fun to play. And yeah, I don't I mean, think the rig you put together is a rig you would have built, but it was super efficient to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, like you had, I had to play, I had to very carefully play the econ which I had available to make it work. But um, like it, it, it came together in the end. It was, I, I, I was worried because I, I was, I was hovering around. It was like only after the piece in my in our time turn and then getting the a stops and until that point i was very worried about like having any options but and getting like taxed out completely yeah i didn't see any of my three twos this game actually oh. and i think even one of them would have made a difference because then i could have installed and not advanced and scored out yeah and yeah if you had a free two that turn then you i mean i run the one thing is I run HQ and I if I see the Marilyn and I'm seeing two because I've got Docklands down. So if I and see the, the third Marilyn, them all. But it's more about seeing the Marilyn. So if I see the Marilyn that turn. Ah, and, you'll wonder what got in server one that wasn't a Marilyn. And I'm probably having to run server one and just working out how I can do it. And uh, yeah, like that's fair. I mean, when I you're can't... ready to when you're ready to give it your all on the last run, a lot of this ice that looks terrifying is actually not that bad. Yeah, tier tier is still a problem. Tier is a, a massive problem, and I still need to. I like, mean, you're, to your point of I will score out the next turn if you do it. Only if I have the, another agenda in hand that you missed on a triple access. Yeah, Docklands, Docklands Mall, right? Yeah, like True. it's possible, but it's equally possible that you can click through it. Uh, you, but, oh, but the Heimdall 2.0, you can't single click through. No, so that's the problem. And it's got two end runs. So, so you have to and, double click through Heimdall 2.0. You have and to I have to, um, for F2P. I have to take money. I have to draw a card if I want to let the, the sub fire as well, because I can't take a brain damage. Oh yeah. yeah. And you need three, you need three. Okay. Yeah. No, the server is a beast. So I think I'm just paying eight to get through it. I think it's eight. Actually, it's only, it's not, it's seven, I think. Uh, two, four, five, six. So it's actually only six to get through Heimdall. I did not realize that. It only cost me six. Um, How? With, with Tycoon. No. Don't you have to double uh, boost your strength? So it would be- Yeah, but it's, it's, two, it's two to boost for free. So boost it twice, that's four. And then uh, I. Wait, wait, how are you boosting for free? Sorry, I'm not catching that. Uh, tycoon. Two credits plus. Oh, wait, wait, you're talking about him. To... Oh, it's, 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 sorry, it's a, it's a tycoon that's breaking. I was thinking of ninja breaking it. Oh, oh right. no, no, yeah, no, no, it's significantly yeah. cheaper with with a uh, tycoon, huh? Two, four, and five, six. Seven. Yeah, that's yeah. actually downright affordable compared to some of the other beasts I've got on here. So that, <laughs> that's like that's six. The FTP, I can, I, it's technically two credits if it really comes to it. And the I mean, you can't, you can't let me remove a breaker of my choice. It might no, be no. So I can, I can take a tag, but, yeah, um, uh, and I probably take a tag if, if I think that this is an agenda. Um, and then the tier, the tier is the problem because I've just got to pay for it. Like it's nine. But no, here's no. the, here's the ultimate thing. With a three-two, the fact that I'm on five points and you're on four becomes relevant. Oh, super! Yeah, hundred percent. Right? Uh, and without that, it's it's literally I I'm ahead for nothing. 
but I, I I knew that going in that I don't have a good agenda suite for the correct scoring pattern, and yeah. that's just something I had to tank because that's the price you pay for running a forty nine card draft instead of cutting nine more cards and going down to forty. Yeah. But in my yeah. situation, I really did feel like having a big, big, big stack of ice made sense. Having enough assets that if you trashed a few of them, I could still play a few of them made sense. I don't know. All right. I really do need to run. Thank you so much for the game. This was awesome. No uh, no. I had a great time. And uh, the game is a pe is Peddler Draft. I will put a link in the description to the website. And y'all feel free to come and play and draft. As you see, I am making constant updates to it still. Cyber Bureau is getting killed. It's not allowed. I don't know why it keeps showing up. I need to write that out of this thing. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm trying to deal with glitches as they arise and make improvements. But yeah, it, this game did not feel like it was unplayable. The latest improvement I've made truly was just uh, uh, identifying and making sure Econ would show up. And I do think that made a huge difference this game because neither of us was clicking for credits the entire game. It wasn't a zero income game. And that's happened to me in prior builds. But instead, I mean, Nasex, Sundu, Melange, Refuge, 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 Nico, Marilyn, Advanced Assembly, Advanced Assembly, Estel Moon, Commercial Bankers, Commercial Bankers, Blue Sun. I mean, this is not a poor deck. <laughs> Celebrity Gift. And uh, yeah, non equivalent stage. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.